Okay, so can I get your name, where you're from and what your role is? Yeah, my name's Andrew Jamison. I'm employed by Department of Sport and Recreation and I sit on the Can Safer Streets Task Force as the Sport and Rec Rep. Fantastic, Andrew. So what are some of the challenges that these students may be facing? Yeah, I guess um, I guess the, the cohort of kids that we're working with with our Space and Place program, um, you know, we're, we're working with uh, you know, some of the most uh, challenged and, and vulnerable kids in, in the West Hands community. Um, so I guess those, uh, those barriers are, it would be a resourcing um, problem or an issue barrier. Um, it could be shoes or it could be access to transport to get to school or um, you know a decent meal for the day or something like that you know so uh, yeah there's some of the barriers I guess that, that we've been able to help them with and being able to refer these uh, these kids or these participants that, that want to engage in our programs or, or we identify that we want to um, support through our program um, they're, they're the types of barriers that we would look to try and support um, you know either uh, directly or, or indirectly by the way of referral. And, and how does your partnership with this SPY program work and, and how are you kicking goals with that partnership? Yeah, awesome. That's a real good question. So I, I guess what we're doing um, with our Space and Place program, um, you know, working with this SPY, we have uh, two key programs at the moment that we engage with SPY and that's our um, Space and Place activities for youth in Cairns program uh, where we have a Aspire come and deliver activities under our program which we fund um, in public spaces so these programs um, target 8 to 12 year olds and Aspire uh, link in directly with us to help facilitate that. Uh, we have them delivering activities at Balaclava State School for us um, after, after school hours uh, and then also um, with our Parks the Clubs program which we link in with as well. Uh, our Parks the Clubs program, we take our kids from our Space and Place Activities for Youth um, program, our Space program, we take them from, from that grassrootsy program and we link them into that, um, I guess, more defined competitive sport um, and, and give them the opportunity to be able to do, um, do the sport that they wish. So uh, through Parks the Clubs, Aspire have come on board and, and um, picked up quite a few referrals, which we refer to as recruits, and we get them into this program. So it's a funded response um, to, one, enable the kid to get out and play sport, but then also to empower the club to be able to give back to that particular recruit. So it could be... You know, assisting mum and dad to get the kids to training or something of that nature. Um, it could be buying a new stick or uh, some shin pads and a mouth guard or, or something like that, you know. Um, and then when there are dramas throughout that season, um, kid may not show up to training or, or gameplay, uh, we would then, you know, link in with the, the club and the club would link in with the family, you know, or hopefully that relationship's already there and you could bridge some of those gaps to make sure that that kid's getting into sport. So, yeah, between space and parks and clubs, I mean, Aspire's just, yeah, absolutely crushing it and, and doing an amazing job and helping us out. Fantastic, mate. That's, 